Hello, hello. Just a quick note on the Iceland eruption. It now seems to have uh, come to a halt. The uh, uh, actual eruption activity at the Sundnuk event is um, no longer existent. There's a bit of, uh, well, fumes coming out. Uh, let me quickly share the screen with you. Here we are. So um, this is one view. This is one of the live cams and there are several other perspectives. Here's the multi-view. There's a bit of, uh, there's a bit of, haze there let's zoom in a little so uh here it is and there you see some haze coming out but actually that's the main vent and uh, this is in the vicinity but not actually at the main vent so this is what it is but uh there is something slightly more disconcerting and that is uh if you look at the met office uh the icelandic met office news then uh, there is a likelihood for another eruption. This could be at the same site or in the vicinity, most likely in uh, the area of the current lava field, I would guess, but it's a guess. And uh, this is because the uh, inflation is still going on. So um, this is an issue. The most likely location, uh, as I say, could be in the crater row again, and it uh, could be very little warning time, they say. The uh, updated hazard assessment is below. You find it on the Icelandic Met Office webpage, and this is the main thing. This is the magma volume estimated from the inflation. How much magma do you need to put into the crust in order to achieve this uh, inflation? And here's the days uh, since beginning of the inflation event, and there's several... Uh, previous inflation periods, the ones with the stars, they led to an eruption, and the ones with the squares, they led to merely a dike intrusion. And now we are in uh, the situation where the red one here has been rising for quite some time. The inflation has been ongoing despite the eruption, and uh, we are here now. So uh, it could well lead to another eruption, and this could be actually very soon. So the hazard map is... Uh, down here, people advise not to go, actually go to the craters because if the eruption comes very swiftly, you could be just standing above a new vent. And that's, of course, not a recommended situation. So uh, here's the new hazard map. We can zoom in a little bit. It's going to take a second to build up. It's quite a large map. And uh, now these areas here, zone um, three and zone six and zone four are the most intense color. This is the highest alert level and that includes Grindavik. So a new eruption could in fact come up in Grindavik as well. So a dike could uh, open up. And as we've seen, there was a small rupture, a small fissure inside the uh, barriers in January. And that's not an unrealistic possibility, although I think we all hope for the eruption if it continues uh, to be up there in the crater row and adding to the lava field. Although that's another little problem and that is now the lava field has reached a, a thickness that is actually pushing against the barriers and uh, with a lot of new route, renewed lava activity, we could actually overflow the barriers. So uh, it's not at an end, unfortunately. Uh, we are still kind of, you know, in the middle of it by the looks of it, and uh, it might take some time for this to calm down completely. Thank you very much. And um, um, yeah, thanks for your interest and uh, all the very best. Bye-bye.